This is Beetle Five coming at you with another one of my reaction videos. Today I will be reacting to Joe Joe from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure versus Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Now, uh, just apologize. I'm a little sick today. I'm coming out with a bit of a cold, but I really wanted to see this step out, so I'm <sighs> bearing through it. But originally, Kenshiro JoJo, I had no idea who these two guys were, but I had a great fun podcast with uh, Richard Cora Kenobi, Duo Dreamer, and Your Only Mate, which is so much fun talking to him. I'll leave a link in the description below of the video of us talking on Nerdbender. It was so much fun. We just discussed all kinds of nerds and death battles and shit like that. And because of that that podcast, I now know a lot more about both these guys. So, Jojo from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, he has a stand, or as a ghost, or whatever you want to call it, that it's called Star Platinum, that is incredibly strong and protects him. So, there's that. Jojo himself doesn't really fight, but Star Platinum is an incredibly strong fighter. But Kenshiro, on the other hand, he is like mastered the most powerful of martial arts in his universe to the point where he can simply touch somebody and they just blow up. So, I gotta put my money on Kenshiro for this because if so long as he can touch Jojo, then he'll win it. He just gotta get start past Star Platinum. I think he's capable of doing that. So let's just uh, watch this fight. Here we go. Okay, okay. He man. Balrog. But these two are as manly and stoic as they come. It's all in those sweet ass jackets. I mean, I guess they're pretty badass too. Jotaro Kujo, the delinquent turned hero from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and Kenshiro, the wandering fist of the North Star. He's never seen either of these shows, but. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, so. armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. All right, cool eight bit models. As a teenager, Jotaro Kujo was wow, a Wow, that's so not an old way to drink. <laughs> you can just call him Jojo like his friends do. Get it, Jotaro Kujo? How? Bizarre. Beautiful. Well, being a high school hoodlum isn't usually a good idea. It worked out great for him, because he toughed up a lot. At the age of 17, Jotaro was arrested for brutally pummeling <coughs> oh, four sorry. known gang members who were armed with knives. Wow, 40 years old, damn. Things, with apparently his bare fists. He's a marine but biologist. Had a bigger <laughs> problem. He didn't know how he did it. He knew he was tough, but not that tough. So he came to the only conclusion that makes sense. He was possessed by an evil spirit! Oh, totally. Oh, just like my pet rat. Yeah, wait, is that <laughs> why he's been scratching pentagrams all over his cage? You'll find out. But then Jotaro did something absolutely crazy. To prove his theory, he swiped a police officer's gun, pointed it straight at his head, and fired. And that's how he died. <laughs> just kidding. A third arm popped out of his body to stop the bullet, of course. Nice. This strange being attached to Jotaro wasn't an evil spirit at all. It's an entity physically generated by Jotaro himself and inherited through his bloodline. Yeah, lots of the Jojo family has them, including his granddad, Joseph. These beings are called stands, literally because they stand by you. Uh, cool. And I guess <laughs> it's not wrong. It's so lame. Stands are powered by their user's life force. And turns out Jotaro's life force is supercharged because he's got one of the strongest stands of all, Star Platinum. Star Platinum has superhuman strength, speed, precision, and vision. He can even phase through bodies and affect a person's oh, inner shit. organs. Plus, while Star Platinum can take a solid hit, most stands can only be damaged by other stands or stand users. So, he's basically invincible unless he's fighting another stand? Exactly. In fact, unless you have a stand of your own, you wouldn't even be able to see Star Platinum. Oh, great. Okay. So he's invincible and invisible. And when you combine all that with Jotaro's fighting skills and exceptional cleverness, they make a magnificent team. That's good, because Jotaro soon found out his family's old vampire nemesis was out to get him. Vampire nemesis? <laughs> Star Platinum at his side, Jotaro didn't just stand up to Dio, he copied Dio's greatest ability, the Time Stop. With this huh. new power, Star Platinum can freeze time everywhere for five seconds. He can do it multiple times, though it does need a sort of recharge between uses. 
kind of like an ability cooldown in a video game. Yeah, <laughs> fucking in the bedroom, tracer. Ladies. But still, <sighs> freaking stop time. I believe we expressed, though, in their better podcast that he can't spam that move, so. But they, they, they said he needs a recharge, so. Holy crap! Split his whole head in half. Within about 10 feet of Jojo's vicinity, any further exponentially lowers his power. Okay, so you can only, then he gets far away from Jojo, he loses his strength. Of course. <clears throat> Should see that coming. Diamonds break around 600 gigapascal. This means Star Platinum can clearly strike with a force equivalent to 3 million tons. Shit. Diamonds aren't forever when Star Platinum's around. What can this guy do? Sounds like nobody can punch the Great White Shark out of the water. Defeat a Silver Chariot, Killer Queen, Dio, and the world. Okay. Over 1800 years old. Damn. Anyone can learn the basics of this dangerous fighting style. There can only ever be one Dipper generation. So that's what Kenshiro set out to Wow, Kenshiro was half JoJo's age. He was named the next successor. How's that mean? Adopted brother got pissed he wasn't chosen and killed for you can over it. Talk about a sore loser. With Hokuto Shinken mastered, Kenshiro can focus his energy into his strikes. Effectively killing an opponent with a single blow to their pressure points. There Damn. are 708 malleable pressure points in the human body, and striking any of them can cause all sorts of effects. Stunning, blinding, healing, restoring memories, making people walk backward. But mostly, they just make people explode. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It started looking pretty great for Kenny. He even got engaged. But then they also have affected animals and vehicles. Mad Max. Land. Bad Max. <laughs> Kenshiro survived and began his wayward journey, wandering the wasteland searching for revenge. And if we go by how many people he blew up, I'd say he got plenty of it. Oh, really God! A big mess behind. <laughs> I even imagine what might be like so bloody! <laughs> Kenshiro had no problem killing hordes of baddies with moves like his bone-crushing fist, spilling wheel-exploding fist, and hundred crack fist. Huh. Holy See, crap. All from the out me Dude, of he belongs in Mortal Kombat. Um, how? So <laughs> many fatalities. Holy fuck. Body explosions don't even happen right away. Giving him plenty of time to explain to his foes how they're about to die right before they explode. You think you can beat me with a finger? That finger struck the hidden vital point known as Gakuchu. There's no use fighting now. You're already dead. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Brains go everywhere! <laughs> oh crap! Where a normal fighter would only use about 30%. He can utilize Toki or his own natural key to perform numerous techniques. Most of these involve punching, of course, but he can also create mirage images of himself, sense other fighting auras, and fire key based projectiles. Oh, if he can sense fighting auras, that's how he'll see Star Platinum. And he can perform miracles, like making a mute girl speak. But even that pales in comparison to Hokuto Shinken's ultimate technique. One which no previous Grandmaster ever unlocked. Muso Tensei. Only those who truly understand pain and loss can apply Muso Tensei. With it, Kenshiro draws upon his inner sadness to enter a state of nothingness. From here, he is impervious to attacks, essentially achieving intangibility. Damn! He somehow connects to the souls of dead allies and rivals, and can even use their technique. But it's not like he needs them. He's already <laughs> crazy enough on his own. He smashed the bones of Through a 661 pound man. Table just by standing up and hit a tank so hard it blew up. He's even strong enough to break a skyscraper in half. Oh, when it oh. on top of him, he just walked through it. Jesus. He would give one punch man a run for his money. He should be fighting him instead of Jojo. Jojo doesn't stand a chance. You think that's tough? Kenshiro can stand in lava. Lava. You know how hot lava is? Up to 2,000. Yeah, really freaking hot, that's what. <laughs> Remember that tank? Before he blew it up, it shot him square on. It did absolutely nothing to him. Seriously, this guy is manly as hell. You're already dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is so fucking crazy. <laughs> all right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, these guys are so stylish, you know they're rocking me on <laughs> Yeah, okay. Ever yeah, there's no way JoJo stands a chance here. Kenshiro, if he so watches his touches JoJo, he's dead. And I have a feeling he's going to be able to get past Star Platinum. The only thing is that if Star Platinum can do that thing where he grabs him, and we could grab one of his organs, and time stop. So that's something Kenshiro might have to worry about, but... If he can get around Star Platinum and touch Jojo, he wins. So I'm gonna go with Kenshiro on this one. It seems like a big, pretty obvious one. Not gonna lie. Alright, dead squirrel. Cool. Wow. Neat art style. Oh, and then went back to 8-bit. Okay. Who's this guy, though, with the hat? The guy next to Jojo. And he's... Okay. <laughs> I got a doom buggy. <laughs> Wait, old man. Alright. Alrighty then. Oh. Ah. Yep, Star Platinum. He realized that now. <laughs> But again, with that aura thing, he should be able to see, see Star Platinum. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that he can, yeah. The world? Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Alright. He's not gonna be able to do shit to Star Platinum, though. That's the thing. Oh. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna say now that will affect him. Oh, oh, god. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god. Oh. 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 <laughs> Almost had him there. <laughs> Nothing. Come on, you just gotta get. Oh. The intangibility thing, but oh, 
Oh, he got him. He got him. Dead. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Who the hell is that guy? Oh, wait. What just happened? Well, all Kentro needed to do to win was just get one yeah. hit in. But this matchup was far closer than that makes it seem. Of course it was. Didn't seem like it. <laughs> fighting star Platinum. Who he couldn't even see. Lucky for him, once he, but he could that out, his ability to sense other fighting auras yep. helped him keep track of SP. But no matter what he did, Kenshiro isn't a stand user, so he couldn't actually hurt Star Platinum. Then again, Star Platinum's own strength wasn't quite enough to hurt Kenshiro much either. One of Star Platinum's greatest strength feats involves breaking and throwing a small section of a building. In comparison, Kentro broke an entire building, but it fall. They walked through it. <laughs> also, while Jotaro may be skilled in deducing his enemy's weaknesses and strategies in mid-fight, Kenshiro's skills, durability, and straightforward approach meant there really wasn't anything for him to pick apart here. Kentro did have trouble with Jotaro's time stopping and Star Platinum's speed. However, with his awesome durability plus additional intangibility when using Muso Tensei, Kentro mm. survived the time stops. And the time stops cooldowns between uses gave Kentro enough time to work around them. The time stop has been worked around by foes in Jotaro's past before. And as far as speed was oh. concerned, Kenshiro may not have been faster than Star. But he was able to keep up. So Tensei and Mirage clones were more than yeah. to get by. And let's be real, Jotaro never stood a chance against Kenshiro by himself. In the end, both combatants had plenty of advantages, but Kenshiro's techniques and overwhelming power ended this fight. Jojo didn't stand a chance. Yeah. The winner is Kenshiro. Nice. I'm for it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this death battle. If you want to see exclusive comments. Oh boy, who we got? Who we going to get? Who we going to get? Can't wait for the shit. Crash! Crash versus Spyro! Yes! 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 Oh my god! We were just freaking talking about that the other day on the Nerdbender podcast. They're really doing it! Oh my god! I love Crash and I love Spyro. I played all their games. Well, I, I played the early Spyro games, but I played all the Crash games. But holy crap! Oh, this is gonna be a good fight! I. I I'm not even sure who would win that. Maybe Crash. I don't know. But anyways, that was a really that was really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment over those that should react to you in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters.